Hi, this is Rich from Lower West Side Studio, and today I thought we'd have a quick look at the Synthesizers.com Q130 Clipper and Rectifier Module. Um, we're going to look at some of the uh, interesting features that it offers. Uh, a lot of people have seen it used in videos on YouTube, but mostly those are videos that show it in use playing a tune or something. So uh, I thought I'd uh, show us what happens when we uh, when we hook it up to the oscilloscope. Okay. So right now we've got a Q106 oscillator pumping out a triangle wave and uh, we'll listen to that for a sec. That's just a straight triangle wave as you see coming out on the oscilloscope. And what we're going to do now is we're going to patch it into the input of the Q130. And we'll take the output of the Q130, run that. And as you see, we've got our triangle wave again. We'll listen to it. Now, for most modules, when you, when you turn them up to 10, you're really applying most of the feature of the module to it, but with the with the Q130 it seems that that works sort of in reverse. Because as you might notice here, the, the uh, potentiometer is turned up to 10. We're getting a triangle wave though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start bringing the potentiometer back, back, coming up on 5, and now as we go south of 5 towards 0, that's where we start to actually do our clipping. Now right now I've got the switch in the top position and as you can see the top part of the wave is being clipped. Turn it back up. So again we get back to 5. And now from 5 to 10 now there really isn't too much of an effect on it. So we'll go back up to 10 here. We'll do the same thing with the bottom portion of the wave. We've switched our, our selector to both, or excuse me, to uh, bottom. Turning it down again. We're coming past 5 now. And there you can see the lower portion of the wave is being clipped all the way up to the zero volt mark. Turn that back up. Now, try it on the both position. Again, we turn it down. So the first five notches basically don't seem to have any effect on the audio signal. But as we bring it below five, you see both the top and bottom being clipped. into nothingness, zero volts. Back up. And there we have our triangle wave back again. And as you see, the knob is actually at position six here. We're getting the, the, the full effect, basically. Now what we'll do is we'll have a little look at the rectifier. So we'll take our, our oscillator's input take the positive output of the rectifier and immediately you can hear that we've got uh, we've gone up an octave and the entire triangle wave is above the zero volt mark now here we're going to do the negative output again the the uh, the frequency sounds the same to the ear, uh, but what we've got is the triangle wave now below the zero volt mark. So now, just because we're having a really good time, what we'll do is we'll take the input or the output of the clipper, we'll plug that into the input of the rectifier, and again we're going up the positive output. Now, as we clip back from six down, now 
Now again, we're in the both position here, the center position on the switch. You'll see the entire waveform is being reduced to zero. Okay, we're back up. Now when I flip to the top position, we start to clip again. You're noticing that every other wave is actually being being clipped. Now you're getting that that original low frequency. And you're getting that that octave up. The rectifier seems to be introducing to us. Bring it down to the bottom. Again, acoustically we're getting the same sound. Back up. And you'll see when we switch this over to the negative output of the rectifier, we get the same effect, but we're getting it backwards now. And now, because no demonstration of a voltage control module is complete without a little, little voltage control, what we'll do is I'm taking the uh, the LFO out of a uh, Oakley D Deep Equinox and we'll run it into the clip level. Now we'll start bringing the amount up. Now you notice I brought the clip level down because as you know it sums the voltage of whatever the setting is versus what's coming in. And if we have it set too high already, then we're not getting in the effect of the of the module to begin with. So by reducing it, we can now have a little bit of little little bit of room to sum. And that's actually an inverted uh, LFO signal coming out of the Oakley. So I'm going to flip it. This uh, Oakley Deep Equinox has been modified to allow you to switch between inverted and uh, positive LFO output on the fly versus having to change jumpers. So now, as you can see, you know, we've got a kind of cool effect going on with the clipper. All right. Well, I hope you found that useful. Um, helped me uh, understand a little bit more about what's going on with the uh, Q130 clipper rectifier, particularly why when I kept cranking it up, uh, I was noticing less of an effect uh, or no effect at all, thinking, what the heck is this thing doing? But now I understand that between 0 and 5, you get your maximum uh, um, effect, pardon the pun, uh, at least with this audio signal. Uh, we're going to run another test with it uh, in another video, uh, putting uh, an, envelope, uh, an envelope generator through it and seeing what effect that has. Uh, thanks for watching and I uh, hope this proved helpful.